What does your body mass index tell you about yourself? And how much can you depend on its accuracy? Fat makes the world go round. It can either be the bane of your existence or can be the beneficial nourishment your body can't do without. A passing fitness fad or something far more intelligent? The fitness tracking bands are the all new rage in tech wearables. So stick around as we slip one on and decode what's all the boom behind this band. One of the most common terms that is used in the fitness world and that you're most likely to come across is BMI, your body mass index. And simply put, your BMI is a measure of your body fat based on your current weight and height. A simple formula goes into calculating your BMI. BMI equals body weight divided by height in meter square. The value that comes from this formula is compared to a universal standard chart. If the value is under 18.5, you are underweight. If it is up to 24.9, your body composition is normal. And above 25, you are overweight. Excessively high BMI values means you are obese and have excessive fatty tissue in your body, which needs to be trimmed. Essentially, your BMI is a useful tool to assess how much your weight departs from what should be the desirable weight for your height. It provides a basic numerical measure for your thickness or thinness. The excess or deficient weight is the body fat. So you have a very good idea of how much you need to drop or gain. And you have an ideal weight to aspire to, which is healthy for your build. BMI gained tremendous popularity, especially in the 1970s, when a sudden spike in obesity levels made this calculation every person's individual tool to ascertain their body fat percentage as well as their ideal weight. But a BMI is more than just an easy way to see if you are a healthy weight. A higher than normal BMI is also an indicator for various health risks. The higher the BMI, the greater the chances of the individual developing hypertension or high BP, cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, heart problems, sleep apnea, stroke and even some forms of cancer. As the BMI decreases through exercise and diet interventions, so does the risk of developing these lifestyle diseases. But recent research tells us this formula is far from perfect. In fact, it has some inherent problems in its very calculation. The BMI formula asks for your total body weight, but does not differentiate between the weight of fatty adipose tissue and the weight of the fat-free mass, which includes muscularity, bone, cartilage, water weight, etc. In professional athletes, the muscle mass is high and dense and so their BMI values may show them as being in the obese category even though their fat stores are actually very low. Another limitation is with the elderly who typically have lower bone density. This may result in an underweight BMI value and may be misinterpreted as them being safe from risk factors in spite of having high fat reserves. Upon beginning an exercise program, your body fat is likely to decrease with a simultaneous increase in muscle mass. This would show very little variation on the weighing scale and consequently in your BMI values, while in reality your body is making quantum shifts. A better measure of body fat percentage is a simple waist to hip ratio. As you shift sizes, your weighing scale may miss it, but your inch tape won't. Now belly fat and love handles are about excess body fat not lack of muscle. Crunches and ab exercises therefore are simply not the solution. If you want to tackle these problem areas, you need to reduce your body's total body fat percentage. And this can be achieved only through regular diet 
and regular exercise. So stop making excuses, go out there and get that ideal body weight. Meet the Boom Band from Alcatel, a waterproof wearable fitness device that is designed to help you get more out of your workouts and also help you stay in tune with your fitness goals 24-7. The Boom Band is a personal fitness tracker that monitors your movements and shows you how many calories you need to burn per day to maintain or reach your weight goals. It's also splash proof. So come rain or sunshine, you have absolutely no excuse to not stay fit. The device comes with a core sensor, a wristband and a charger. The silicone rubber band contains a slot that's meant to house the core sensor unit. The boom band is in always-on mode, so make sure you have charged the band before you slip it on. The band comes with built-in battery and needs just an hour and a half to be fully charged. Five LED lights on the band will light up when the band is fully charged. One charge should easily last you three to five days, depending on how many functions you use on the band. To use the band, you need to pair it with its partner app, Boom Band Life, on your phone. Since the band comes as a standard accessory with the Alcatel One Touch X smartphone, the app is already pre-installed here. There's no display screen on the boom band, which is a limitation, which we have seen in many other fitness trackers in the market. Since the notifications are via the LED lights and the vibrations, the user has to rely on the partner app on the phone for more details. On the plus side, you can use this device as an alarm or to locate your phone. The band will vibrate when the handset goes out of the Bluetooth range for discrete call alerts. When you get a call, the band will vibrate and LED will blink and also as a sleep monitor. While the boom band may seem like any other fitness tracking band in the market, offering quite similar features, the best part is that you don't need to really buy one. It comes as a standard accessory with the Alcatel One Touch Idle X smartphone, which is a pretty good phone in that price segment. It features a 2 GHz octa-core processor, 2 GB RAM, Corning Gorilla Class 2, fingerprint-resistive coating and an excellent 13 MP camera. The Alcatel Boom Band is a great way to get active. And for the price of one smartphone, you get a cool fitness tracker as well. A smart way to stay fit, a smart way to stay connected. Sounds like a good deal to me. Ask anyone to define the opposite of healthy and chances are they may say fat. But there is more to fat than what we have been seeing. There are good fats and then there are fats we can definitely do without. Thanks to a fast-paced lifestyle and an eat-on-the-go culture that promotes an unhealthy diet, obesity or being overweight is a global health issue today. And the first thing we blame for being obese or overweight is the fat in our food our snacks and just about everything we consume. Well, some fats are responsible for that, but there are certain fats that are indispensable for our body. There are three basic types of fats, monounsaturated fats or MUFAs, polyunsaturated fats or PUFAs, and saturated fats or SATFAs. MUFAs and PUFAs are good fats, SATFAs are bad fats. So what's the difference between them? The good fats are like oil, they flow through our arteries, the bad fats behave like sludge sticking to the arteries and clogging them. The human body can make all except two fatty acids, linoleic acid and linolenic acid, and therefore they must be obtained from the diet. Because our bodies need them, they are called essential fatty acids. Olive and canola oil are rich in MUFAs and PUFAs, the good fats. Salmon, milk products, almonds, Brazilian nuts, sesame seeds and sunflower seeds contain a high amount of omega-3 and omega-6 fats, which are really good for our bodies. Saturated fats and trans fats fall under the non-healthy fat category. These are usually found in fatty cuts of meat and poultry. Packaged food items, fried snacks and other ready-to-eat snacks also contain an unhealthy level of trans fats. Fat is the most concentrated source of energy in our diet, providing 9 calories per gram, while carbohydrates and proteins only have 4 calories per gram. Fats help build healthy cells. They form a vital part of the cell membrane without which the cell cannot function. 
Fat provides the structural components of myelin, the fatty insulating sheath that surrounds each nerve fiber, enabling it to carry messages faster. Fats provide our body with vitamins. Vitamins A, D, E and K are fat-soluble vitamins, meaning that the fat in foods helps the intestines absorb these vitamins into the body. Fat is essential for healthier skin. One of the more obvious signs of fatty acid deficiency is dry, flaky skin. Fat forms a protective cushion for your organs, protecting it from injury. This protective fat is the last to be used up when the body's energy reserves are being tapped into. Essential fats such as omega-3 oils reduce the blood's tendency to clot, thus helping to prevent heart disease and strokes. Fatty acids especially, the kinds found in butter and coconut, help white blood cells to recognize and destroy invading viruses and bacteria in our body. Quite clearly, your body needs fat. But what fats do you cut off your diet and what should you include? Cut down on your much-liked fast food snacks and baked goodies. They contain a high level of trans fats. Lower your consumption of fatty cuts of meat, butter, hard margarine, milk with higher fat content and cheese are also a big no-no. Include food that contains omega-3 fats in your diet every day. Oily fish such as tuna, mackerel and sardines Nuts and seeds such as walnuts, ground flax seeds, healthier oils like soybean and canola oil are all rich in omega-3 fats. Also recommended are bajra, rajma and locally available green leafy vegetables. Now that you have figured out the good fats from the nasty ones, we hope you will make a healthier food choice the next time you eat. And yes, reaching out for that little bit butter may actually be a healthier choice. After all, bon appetit!